Right, we're here. Where do you want to start? We've got the dogs. <laughs> want to take one of them? Oh, sun's very bright. Sun isn't is it? really bright. Apologies for that. I think last year we started over there. There's a load of cars coming, so I'll stay yeah. a minute. Okay. Well, one Go car on. anyway. Yeah, so here's a motor we recognise. This is a Bailey Advance and it's 4995, so five pound under 50,000. It's 18, isn't it? The 1.8 plate. Yeah. One eight. Yeah, you've got water filling point at the back there. Looks like it had the awning attachment thing there. Don't know what that. Oh, my perhaps that's not it. I don't know what that is. It's had a TV point fitted. Yeah, because they never came with one, did they? No, it hasn't got an awning on it. No, this, is a, this model is a seventy. Seventy-six. How do you reckon, Bob? I think I watched Payload with this, haven't you? If yeah. You've got six people. Yeah. How wow, you can fit six people in a little motor like this, I don't know, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's just ba quite basic, really. There's no reversing camera on it. There is provision for a bike rack. There's Truma heating. Toilet on this side. Electric point that side. And have a look in. This is, this is the problem we have now is that Poppy and Tara can't go in with us. No. Or can't go in with me. I'll have a look inside. So you've got this double dinette here. Yeah. It's a traditional sort of six berth layout, isn't it? With that yeah. bed looks a bit what? not very wide. Well, it's got a cut-off on it, so I don't think you'd fit two huge size adults in there, would you? No. But, uh, you could have a conference in here, couldn't you? You could. Plenty of seats. A little conference centre. They always have a feeling of space, the Baileys. I think they do really well with the white cabinetry. I did like those, the material on those seats, you know, that, that one we borrowed. Yeah. Doesn't have that. There's a reasonable amount of headroom in here as well. Dark, glasses are dark, can't see anything. It comes with the microwave, this one. And these massive cupboards. I always love these cupboards. So, so big. It's got a um, Thetford Triplex oven grill and three gas burner hob. Little splashback panel there. On a Persia, most Baileys are on, I think all Persia, all uh, Baileys apart from the Adamos are on Persias. Got little sort of cubby holes there. That sort of limits how far this can come down, doesn't it? Well, the idea is another two people sleep there, don't they? So you couldn't yeah. have it come down. No. This doesn't look very wide. <laughs> doesn't look very wide? Oh, the bed. bed. At the top. Oh, I see. Quite a nice big um, wardrobe there. I have to find the words. It's early in the morning yet. <laughs> and obviously the big reason for this is the big lounge at the back. Yeah, that's good. Got a TV point there. And big lockers at the back here. These corner lockers, you always have to remember to take things out of those. I think that you can put the table in there as well. Here's the washroom. Oh, God. That's it, that's all right. Yeah, not a bad washroom. A cupboard and some cubby hole space, plenty of space. Twin drain holes, nice to see, and a mat on the floor, and clingy curtain. 
Oh, that's all right. Town rail. Yeah, not bad. Very basic, aren't they? A bit of a step up, isn't there? Yeah. But the person who's had this has looked after it and added a few extras. Because there were never any bins, were there? No, no, no pin on the no door. No window in the door. And no yeah. window in the door. But a nice basic van. Yeah. And considering a lot of vans are going for like 70, 80, 100,000 pounds nowadays. <laughs> this is a 50,000 pounds sounds like a bargain, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> well, I haven't looked at the fridge. Let's have a look at the fridge. I don't think it's a particularly big fridge. Yeah, I've got the fridges over here. It's a manual energy selection fridge. Yeah. But yeah, that's okay. As long as you remember to switch it onto gas when you, when you stop. Who could forget to do that? <laughs> yeah, so this is a Vantage Max. Okay, 64,305. I think this is new. Let's see if we can have a look. If we look inside first? Yeah, let's have a look inside first. It's on a Fiat, six speed, manual. I think that's the old dashboard, isn't it? So it's on an older, older Fiat. I can't see what year this is. I'll read that. So I don't think it's brand new, but it might be on an older Fiat, but a new conversion, if you know what I mean. Three burner hob. Triplex. We we'll see a lot of triplexes today. Yeah, you say that a lot, don't you? You know, your pop up electricity point. Isotherm fridge, so compressor fridge. Sorry, absorption fridge. I always get it the wrong way around. Is it? I, oh, I can't I don't remember. know, ask me. <laughs> it's a 12 volt fridge. I'm bound to get it wrong. That's very smart looking. Yeah, all electrics in there. It's handy, isn't it? At a level you can reach it. You've got your hanging space in there as well. Nice cupboards. Yeah, no, they're very nice they cupboards. Remind me a little bit of Wild Axes. Yeah. Cupboards. Those are shelves in there. Lots of shelves up there. Somewhere to put your bedding, I think, there. That's quite nice. And you've got your controls there. It's quite a big wi um, kitchen worktop there. Shelves, drawers, uh, plastic cover for your sink. And you've got lockers all the way around the back there. That's nice. Uh, not, not too close to the bed. We've got a wet room. And it's not a bad sized wet room either. Very white in here. Two here. Got a double mirror. Mirror facing each way. <laughs> good sized sink. And obviously that's the shower attachment. That's good. It's a huge bed actually. It's very long. Look how long yeah, it is. Yeah. Only two seats. Yeah, but, uh, there's a real two people behind yeah, them. Yeah, I there? imagine that there's going to be tons of room underneath the garage here. Yeah, you can't really see it, but that's going to have a huge garage, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's the Max. I see why it's called the Max. Managed to break my light as well. But yeah, it's huge space in there. Yeah, no, it's good. There's a load of elders here, aren't there? Right. This bit here. A big American fifth wheeler up there. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look at some elders. Yeah, the one we were always, people are always saying look at is the 185 or the 285. I think it's the, the 185. Beds. 
They're the little vans. The CB40, they? yeah. Nice vans, those. Yeah. Oh, it's a 175, isn't it? But it's a 185, isn't it? When I see those, first of all, I always think they were a Bailey autograph. Yeah. Because they're similar colours, aren't similar they? Similar colours, yeah. 185. What have we got here? 155, 196, 195, probably everything but. <laughs> <laughs> 155. Yeah, everything but. 120. Probably a popular one, isn't it? Yeah. That's a real lounge, isn't real it? Lounge, I can't really. Yeah, no, can't see in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't jump up high enough to look. <laughs> Can you look through there? Is that a real lounge? Yeah. Yeah. Go on, pick a van then. So we decided to have a look at a 2018 Eldis Envy 175. Two litre, it's three and a half tonnes, two seat belts, two berth, and it is a rear kitchen. Seven metres long. And it's seven metres long and it's 48995. So it's quite a length, isn't it, for a rear kitchen? Yeah, like it's that. probably a bit like, you know, you get that Broadway, that sort of yeah. long sofas with a kitchen at the back. Yeah. Let's have a look in. So a huge sofa at the front, you know, you can't see it from there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word for it, I can't look in the window. Yeah, the microwave. Nice big fridge with a big, big freezer compartment. So I think they had one of these at Todd's at one time, didn't they? Or well, they had an, an Eldis with this layout. Yeah. Don't, know, don't think it was a Dolphin. No. It wasn't a Dolphin Envy then, was it? Envy by Dolphin. <laughs> but yeah, enormous. You could just sleep on those uh, sofas on their own. Yeah, I think that's what we thought. Rear view camera. We saw a Peugeot. Six speed. And then got the cubby holes at the top. Locus. Little tiny little flappy thing. Electric hot plate. Grill and oven. And your sink. It's quite nice. There's a lot of space in here. Yeah. What do you think, Pops? A lot of space in here? <laughs> <laughs> No idea, she says. <laughs> a circular shower in here. Yeah, you have to make sure you can fit in those, don't yeah. you? There's a wardrobe on the side of it. Oh, that's right, I remember this now. These drawers inside the wardrobe. Very unusual. Great, massive hanging space there. It's on a bit of a slope, this, <laughs> holding yeah. the door. Yeah, like yeah. the floor. Yeah, it's a little tiled wood effect floor. You've got some magazine racks there. Obviously the beds pull out there and there, so you've still got somewhere to sit if someone decides they're gonna stay in bed. Excellent then, yeah. I don't know who I'm talking about there. <laughs> no, I don't. You, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I like this. It's good. LPG locker. Might be able to get in there. Space for two big bottles. Got barbecue point. Awning, TV aerial. Obviously the big fridge. Access to the lockers underneath. You've got, you've got no garage, have you, sir? No. No, but That's... there's huge space under those lockers. Yeah. I don't know if you can get in here. No. No. Okay, well, I imagine there's, there's huge space the under side. there because yeah. I forgot to look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Six, eight plates. Uh, what's that, four years old? 2018, yeah. yeah. End of, isn't it? Yeah, electric point over there and the wastewater, uh, wastewater drains just back of the wheel. If I can get, can I get round there, girls? 
Have a look. Stay here. Yeah, there's your drain for your fresh and your waste. That's a shower point there. Yeah, okay. said that on the thing up on yeah. the front. Okay, girls. Also got a sticker saying it was serviced in 2021, probably at the end because yeah. it's a end of year thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's well worth looking at. Yep, there seem to be a lot of rear lounge ones here. Yeah. That is as well. Yeah, it's a better car, isn't it? Yeah. So we're over at Camper UK. If you take your fancy. What about the, the uh, elegance at the at the back? Yeah, let's look at that. So we've got eighty thousand with us. Well, it doesn't seem like a lot these days. <laughs> it's <Which is> crazy. <laughs> we're really, looking isn't at one hundred and five. Yeah, one hundred and five thousand for a new Contiki, <laughs> and for seventy nine thousand, we have a burst of elegance. 2012, five ton uh, MTPLM, four berth, single beds over rear garage, traditional layout for an A class, isn't it? So how long Automatic. Is it? Sorry? How long is it? How long? Oh, you don't need to ask that. 9.2? 9.2 metres. Oof. So 2.3 wide. <laughs> <laughs> There's 6.2 registration. So with this, obviously, you've got under, under lock it, under. Skirt or skirt lockers. I assume that comes open. I can't get that open, but one handed. Big garage. Got some music playing, so if you suddenly turn into Mr. Voiceover, that'll be why. <laughs> there we go. Huge locker. Electric hookup points there at 240 volts out and in. It's got a solar charge controller, 12 volt socket, water waste, more sockets there. Have a look around the back. Rear, rear camera. <coughs> Access to the other side. Toilet. You gonna follow me around? Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were going around. You could. Yeah. Oh, sun. The sun is so low. God, you've got a lot of lockers, haven't you? Got yeah, no, you've got more that, lockers there. Yeah. You've got it's got fitted with gas, gas, gas low, uh, refillable gas water point and the pump minus the filling cap mm. so you can easily get one of those diesel fuel only don't mix the two up so I'm going to do Cato Maxi won't have any problems with payload with this one no just its length really yeah yeah if you don't mind 9.2 meters <laughs> It's an interesting looking van here, isn't it? Which, this one here? Yeah, called a Da Vinci in Camper UK. It's a Laker EcoVip mm. 840, 66,000, two berth transverse bed, 5.4 metres long. It's new and unregistered, right hand drive. Yeah, very nice girls. <laughs> That's 66,995. Oh yeah, this is nice. Leather seats, or leather effect seats. Manual on a Fiat. Nice big sunroof at the front. Lockers are quite, well, quite small at the front here. But very stylish. Controls are there. Very just cute out little there. double yeah. end opening fridge. It's, it's quite, quite quite good size. Yeah, and if you're outside, because you can. 
open it the other open way. Open it that way? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I'd like to see that. Little uh, gas burner, twin gas burner. Don't think there's an oven with this. The locker handles are quite stylish. You push in and you pull it. This is the trouble I've got this bag on now. <laughs> I can't fit in here. <laughs> it's a good test, isn't it, of how yeah. wide the passage is? Yeah. There we go. There's the, the washer, which is okay. The cupboards above. Nice big mirror. Little sink. Duck board, obviously, you take that out if you're having a shower. I'm doing this all out of order. I like that table. Yeah, because again, it folds out, doesn't it? And yeah. just a nice little one. Yeah, so it most doesn't, of the time. doesn't yeah. take up too much space. And if you're just having a coffee, you could brilliant. do one like that. We could really do one like that, yeah. And I think it folds down as well by the looks of it. Yeah, so it folds completely out of the way when you're traveling. Mm. Very good. Moving on. Good. Something just fell out. I don't know what that is, so quickly put it back and pretend I didn't do anything. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> Bed looks a bit short, I'd say. I think the bed's a bit short, don't you? Yeah, possibly. For you, anyway. Yeah. Got more cupboards up there. And it's got a headboard on the side of it. I'd have to, I'd have, to have a look, see how long that bed is. But... Gas locker. So I can put two bottles in there. Loads of space under there. Enough for a big box, isn't there? Yeah, space for a big box. Where's the handle? I can't see the handle. I was looking for the handle on the other side. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? I'm assuming you can put the, you can fold the bed out of mm, the way. Yeah. It obviously folds out. That's a Da Vinci edition. Come here. Let's see what the beds are. Yeah, girls. Yeah, girls, yep. I've got something for you here. I think you want the smallest one possible, don't you? I mean, this little one. Aren't they tiny, aren't they? Oh, no. Look at that. What do you think, eh? Hey? Eh? Hey? Tara, what do you think? You and Poppy can sleep in there. Yeah, I could tow it behind the motor home. Yeah? Just leave Poppy and Tara in here. <laughs> We've got a fridge in here. Quite a big table. Yeah, so would be all right. Yeah, be all right. Sitting by the lock side here. Little pop-up roof. Just about enough standing room for me. <laughs> Wardrobe to put your coats and bits. This is 139295. There you are. You can afford that. Got a uh, grill, uh, uh, gas burners. Can't really do anything now. I've got my hands full. <laughs> Bought a uh, doormat. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake buying something early on, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's that's all right. Is it first foray into caravanning? Very cute, isn't it? Yeah. Just your size tea. <laughs> you're not looking, are you? You're not looking, no. It's quite something, isn't it? Zermatt. <laughs> Vox Leisure Zermatt, special show edition. Long wheelbase. 
T6.1 on an auto. Yeah, very nice. What do you reckon, T? You're supposed to sit on that. Oh, what, sorry? You're supposed to sit on that. Well, get... yeah, and you'd just, you'd just plonk Perch. yourself there, wouldn't Perching you? Perch yourself. There. Yeah, All just right. for admiring the outdoors. Yeah. It's okay, isn't it? I'm going to have to do something with this, though. Yeah. A little old cruise here. Alto. What do they think this is? It's a 130 multi jet. 36,995. There's a, <laughs> There's a barrier there. And it's a 6-1 plate. Yeah. Six-speed manual. Have a look. Right, isn't it? Yeah. Seems quite spacious at the front here. Quite a nice little travel seat. Very stylish lockers they were, weren't they? Always were with autocruise, yeah. weren't they? This is when it was owned by Swift though, isn't it? Taken yeah, over. yeah, yeah, they'd only just taken it over, hadn't they? Yeah. 61. So autocruise made the vans then, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they just left them let them make the vans and so this is actually built in the autocruise factory. Tiny little oven there grill thing. Avtex TV there. See that's our TV, a bedroom TV. Oh it is the same one isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It shows how old our TV is, <laughs> doesn't it? We've got a washroom, wet room at the back here with a drop down sink. And those cupboards, remember those cupboards you push the button in to open them? Yeah. Shower heads on the side, you've got obviously you've got a curtain that goes around there. And it's a French bed with a fair cut off, but I wouldn't say it's too bad. It's nice to have a fixed bed in a van this size. Waco fridge. Of course it opens the other way, doesn't it? <laughs> I can't you, get do, you could do a double opening, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That's well, a little tray at the bottom. Yeah, a tiny little tray. It's okay. Presumably you've got a load of storage under the bed there. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. I say there's a little gas locker, but uh, probably get two bottles in there. It was a bit of a struggle getting in that, that tiny hole, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very big, is it? Bike rack on the back. Well, for under forty thousand pounds, it's one of your options, isn't it? Yeah. Auto Cruise Alto. Right, Poppy. And have a look at this Mercedes here. This is an Auto Sleeper Suffolk, and I don't think you see many of these around. Not for a while, no. No, thirty-seven nine nine five on an 08 plate. Jenny, you come around here, please, where I can see you. Easier said than done. I want to go one way. <laughs> Let's have a look around the outside. Got a gas low uh, LPG f refillable. I always thought these wheels were a bit strange on these Mercedes, weren't they? They're sort of lost in the wheel arch somewhere. Yeah, yeah, they are, aren't they? Overbodied, I think someone said. Yeah, it's the 35th anniversary one, this. Is it? Yeah. This one? It says so on the side here. Yeah, it's got a rear view camera. I think it's a rear lounge one, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of rear lounge ones here. Yeah, well, they are probably the most Up popular here. layer. Yeah. This one's got a tow bar. Yep. Oh, we'll have a little look in. It's originally Marquis. That's 
step in. There. Nice sprinter. Black dashboard. See if we can put some light on it. I don't know if that's any better. Yeah. And there's an over cab bed. You make up and fill in that space there. But that's pretty spacious. Moving backwards. There's a wet room. Swing wall bathroom, Jenny. Right, good. It's got one of those shower heads that was, we were supposed to be sent, you know, with the stuff to make the water soft. You know. All right, yeah. We're supposed to be reviewing one of those. It hasn't arrived yet. Little pocket, big mirror. I do like this floor. The floor is very, very good, isn't it? Mm. Very, very posh. Quite a nice big flap there to pull up to give you extra space in the work area. That's got an alarm on it, this one, as well. We set the alarm off on the other one. Deu. Uh, sink drainer. That's good. And fridge. Electric hot plate. We're fully equipped with these, Jan. So they were always fully equipped, these uh, auto sleepers, yeah. even back then. And you've got a lounge, so you've got a longer sofa that side, but huge windows, great big windows. There's your drinks cabinet. Presumably TV, oh no, there's a cupboard, just a cupboard in there. Uh, oh yeah, TVs on that side. You straighten out a bit, there you are. And it's got the traumatic, or traumatic as some people call it, uh, heating system. It's basically a fire. Great for getting warm quickly, but an absolute pain in the what's it? I know, because we had one on a star fire. What's that fire, is it? Yeah, remember? Yeah. Kept going out. Yeah, and wake up really cold. and a wardrobe and a table for the lounge area. No, it's all right, isn't it? Mm. 40,000 pounds. It will probably see many more miles of service. Yeah. And for its age, it's quite a subtle seats, isn't it? Yeah, you are not got that sort of- used to get sort of yeah, really bright colors and- It was used to be sort of like yellow and green or something. Yeah, that's right. Like. Yeah, yeah, blue. Unless it's been, it might have been reupholstered. Re it's quite possible, isn't it? Mm, I think so. No, because it I makes mean, all in the doors looks, and it looks quite clean. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, very nice.